Hi guys. Um, yeah. My name is Alex. Some guy you might know. Or not. And this is my really awkward but on this Christmas message. On this Christmas, it feels weird to experience this holiday through everything. The pandemic, the tensions, the experience of adulthood. Standing in the mall, going shopping felt weird knowing people were literally dying from disease. But at the same time, feeling the desire to put smiles on people's faces with gifts. I think a lot about people's faces. Not just because they're cute. It tells a lot about a person. You can see it in their eyes. I write this coming back from midnight mass with my mom. It's something she loves doing every year. And hearing the choir sing is magical. It makes me think of everyone out there. Everyone got their own journey going on. I wanted to speak to those that feel down on the holidays. These times are really hard because you feel like you don't belong. You can't fake being happy because it feels inauthentic. It's hard when you can't relate to everyone else. Pain affects many of us across the world. Love is the antidote. And some of us are without that antidote. And it's a hard thing. This has been one of the hardest years of my life and I've had depression for over seven years now. But it's made my soul admire others and show empathy. What people go through. I started the year with losing a friendship that meant everything to me. Then I was vilified by my peers to thinking I was a terrible person from the experience. I believed I was not deserving of friends or love. I believed my struggles were nothing when people out there were literally losing loved ones. My angel taught me the truth of understanding everyone has their own journey and just hopes to try their best. And don't minimize your own pain. Here's some things I learned. Judgment. It's not good to judge, but I would judge my friends and their actions because I thought I knew better for what they needed in life. And sometimes it would be successful, but it had a tendency to hurt them. And that's not what I wanted. Narcissism. It was my parental role that I would put myself in to carry these people. I wanted to be important in people's lives so that they would never leave me. It's cheesy to say, but friends are my family. It's that fear of losing them that drove my desire to be essential. I wanted to feel important, but there are ways of being supportive without making it completely about you. Let's discuss identity. People call me things all the time, whether it's because I'm a Gemini or just plain weird sometimes. But I never feel good about how people describe me. I have allowed people to tell me who I am and it's been destroying me. Who am I? I thought a lot about that this year. Love everyone. Love unconditionally. Love because life is too short and you don't know when it'll be the last time you have the chance to give love. I love my allies and my haters. You're all a part of me and sometimes you put me to the test. But I promise I'm trying my best to be the best self I can. And that's who I want to be. I want to be the person that spreads love. While the holidays are hard, I want y'all to try to be that person you want to be there for you. Reach out. There's no shame in needing people. We should rely on each other. I love that my family is comprised of blood-related and befriended souls. I love those that have cut me out of their lives, for I hope to show them love until the end. I love this ability as humans to have connections. Feel my soul attached to yours. Know I appreciate your existence and heart. Thank you for being you. Thank you for the music that your heartbeat makes with every beat. Thank you for the words that root from the unique mind that builds you. Thank you to my mom for teaching me to love unconditionally because that's become my core. I'm here. You're here. Let's keep it going. Merry Christmas.